right, guys. Uh, looks like uh, Francis has already exposed what it is he's got up his sleeves. We're over at his uh, Facebook page, and as predicted, um, yeah, all kinds of speculation about the health of uh, Benedict XVI. Headline, currently in grave health despite Vatican denials, blah, blah, blah. I'll just put the link down below. It is Joel Will, but it's exactly what we thought would happen, so it's speculation now. They may even have a mock funeral for him, but just know that uh, Pope Benedict cannot die. He is, um, he is, he belongs to God, and so they can try what they like, but, uh, it, you know, it's all going to be a hoax as far as their end goes. Now, more about... Um, uh, about Francis, of course, as uh, Argentina. Thank you, Andrew, for the... Well, let's go back in history about that. We've got the Falklands War, which is, uh, was 1982, and the woman behind that, that uh, changed the distance, uh, a 200 a nautical mile distance out from the Falklands, that any ship from any nation, if they sailed within that, uh, and they, I think they announced it through the uh, Swiss Embassy in uh, Buenos Aires, so that the Argentinians would know that not to go within 200 northern miles. However, they changed their mind on that. And the reason they did that is uh, they were looking to sink the ship to teach the Argentinians a lesson. And this is the Delta Grotto. And uh, on board, there were 500 young men, and they all died when uh, the uh, British submarine sent out two um, of the latest torpedoes, which were fly-by-wire, if you like. Uh, they trailed these long wires behind them and they steered them um, from the, uh, the submarine. And they, they sent them. But they were way out outside the 200 nautical mile limit. But the distance, uh, to the South Pole um, uh, indicates that uh, they would, it's blackness and sink into the depths. So, because they have used the concordance like I use it, um, when they have the opportunity to kill some, um, someone or something or a ship like this, they'll do it at a longitude and latitude or a time that will give them uh, the uh, sick gratification. Having killed all these people now. Remember, 500 is a word anti-group. So at that time, um, the missiles that were purchased off the French was a deal by a priest who turns out today to be Francis the Pope. He <laughs> made a deal with the with the uh, the French to buy 200 million dollars worth of uh, Exocet missiles. And uh, the British, of course, they're very aware of what the French can do with their missiles. So um, it was Prince Andrew who was down there flying a helicopter. So when a missile would be coming in, they'd have the helicopter hovering down at the same level as the ship. And then as the missile got within distance of uh, uh, striking the, the boat, uh, he would take it up high, several hundred feet, and the uh, missile would start to raise up and follow that particular object and go over the top of the ships now. They did sink a few of the British ships and they caught them unawares, but they soon figured that out. Now, Margaret Thatcher was behind all that, and she's the one that changed uh, the uh, Admiralty's position on the distance that, uh, and didn't bother to tell the Argentinians to sink the Belgrado. And of course, they just murdered her. And um, because she was, she was a pretty evil woman, don't worry about that, but uh, to be able to do something like that was pretty, pretty terrible. But this is what it's all about. So uh, they're getting even. Now, how they're getting even is uh, they're going to uh, bring on a nuclear war because they're stupid. Argentinian Pope is a very stupid man. And uh, the Jews are everywhere. And they are trying to push for uh, world war. And we've got to go back to what Hitler said, that unless uh, the Jews are stopped, uh, they would leave the earth. They life was all floating in the heat of space. And of course, she's quite right. And uh, they're trying to bring on this nuclear war with Iran. Now, once it kicks off, that's it, all nations be involved. And the nuclear fallout will stay primarily in the Northern Hemisphere, leaving the Southern Hemisphere free. And that is why Australia has been set up as a, uh, a focal point 
where the uh, Olympic Games in the year 2000, uh, the Australian public was, was fooled into uh, supplying money for the Olympic Games and they revamped everything. So under the new Parliament House, it is, it's huge. And uh, ASIO agents have uh, informed a friend of mine while they were pissed at a party that uh, they have enough uh, power underneath the uh, Australian Capital Territory government building to run the world. And that's what it's all, all about. Pine gaps involved and so on. So the Jews are trying to bring off uh, a nuclear war and they're using this idea to uh, pull it off. Well, this brings us to Revelation 1711. And 1711 is all about the uh, seven kings. Now, once a city became, this is the Vatican, became a nation, which it did under uh, an agreement with the Italian government, whoever is the pontiff becomes the king. So they had seven kings, and then for 84 years, this is from February the 11th, uh, 1929, 84 years later, which is Marshall in uh, English Gematria, and it's also Emmanuel, the Emmanuel prophecy, which is man Emmanuel is found in uh, Matthew 123, which has a value of 8880, and anyone who's following us would know what that's about. Um, it pinpoints myself as being the king genetically. So he's not interested in the Queen or Prince Charles or anything like that. What he's interested in is killing off all of Europe because I'm the king of all of Europe, every nation in the kingdom, also Italy. So uh, this is what the whole game's about. It's the make war with the land in the uh, book of Revelation. And of course, as there was a lightning strike at 5.55 p.m., for the first time in history, the Vatican was struck with lightning just after Pope Benedict the 16th made the announcement he was retiring because he was feeling weak and ill health. Um, this closed down the seven kings in that prophecy of 1711. Do you want to read it now? And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. That just means Benedict, by the time he resigned, feeling unwell, sickened by the filth in the church, Good he retires, drew away, he is the one remaining alive, the seventh, and he goes into his own perdition, which means loss and destruction. Uh, it's not an all-consuming hell, etc. All of you who have experienced the loss of uh, loved ones or your health, whatever, sorrow, as he was experiencing you've gone into perdition. Now, I should also say that the beast is, of course, the church. Mm. And uh, like anything that can be regarded as being a beast, it does evil. On the other hand, you put a good man in charge of it, it's, it's not doing evil, so therefore it's no longer the beast. However, you look at the history of the church and it's always been evil men. Mm. That's, uh, over time, has dominated against the good men. And there's been some terrible things the church has done. So this is the beast, there's no doubt about that. It's in charge today of 1.2 billion people. Um, I've also given the Vatican III to the Pope, uh, Benedict, and um, he will become um, Petrus Romanus. I've already renamed him as Peter, because Peter started the church, that's where it started, and this is where it ends. And it will be a perpetual church from that point on, where it's running under no longer the beast, will be destroyed, will be run under righteousness under my rule. And uh, with the uh, Pope Peter, Petros Romanos, has been the 111th Pope, Malachi prophecy. Uh, same man, uh, and uh, therefore he's still the 111th Pope. Because the illegal uh, move by uh, the Jews back in France mm -hmm. uh, is illegal. It's they illegitimate. already knew, the conclave knew that we was already back. Mm. So, uh, uh, it's an illegitimate conclave. It's illegitimate. It's all, it's all, uh, so it's they've got this, this fool who is basically a moron. Um, and he's a man, as I say, getting even with, uh, uh, England and the lamb in particular, which is my kingdom, which is all the world, basically. And he thinks it's only Europe. Well, that's fine. He can think that. Uh, but Argentina is mine too, and so is all the other countries. All the South. nations. Uh, Benitez de Quiros prophecy, mm. 
1606? May 15th. May 15th. Mm. All the land south from the equator to the, the pole. Uh, so, I was born a Catholic, so actually, uh, and of the royal, true royal family. So, uh, that's why it has to be that way. It's pretty obvious. It's the Isaiah prophecy. It's uh, 22, 22, key of the house of David. Not the key of the house of Solomon. David. I don't descend from Solomon. Solomon was a beast, monster, which mm. evil. Yeah, so it was through Nathan. It's mm. the root of Jesse that is. is root of Jesse. About Dexter, what happened uh, while Dexter was down here? Well, he spent five days in and around the Vatican on the streets. He did get to talk with a lot of the um, nuns and brothers around the Vatican area. He was telling those people that he came across on a personal level um, what was going on about Benedict, and he said that they. Once he told them, they were very concerned and they took information. He had brochures, etc., with links to find out what was going on. So he was touching bases on a personal level with people. He also did some recon of, uh, about uh, private investigators and uh, newspaper, TV advertisements, that kind of thing. So he's gone back to England knowing well, now. See, he was talking to taxi drivers, and this email yes. came through from a taxi driver. And uh, we said the best people to get the word out is taxi drivers. And uh, he's been watching. Yeah. He wanted to know what happens next. Yeah. Well, he's gone back to England and done a good job to yeah. come up with that. Yeah. So, uh, good on your decks. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, our, our plans are to uh, just hover around Egypt uh, and uh, then go up into uh, one of the pyramid and then go up into Rome area. I won't be going to Rome itself. I'll, I'll stay on the borders of, uh, of Italy, probably uh, France, and tour around. We've got uh, our son up in Poland. We'll go up there. And uh, we'll just wait out the, the lunation of 1119. And that is the end of the book of Revelations. If you're confused by the numbers in Revelation where it ends, you think it's 22, uh, the 22nd book, it's not. The uh, end of Revelation is uh, yeah, lined up with the lunations, which is uh, with Benedict. Uh, we're talking running through for say 1114 through to 1119. And 11. One nine is the end of the book of Revelation. So, uh, now, if any of you Italian uh, uh, cab drivers, uh, a lot of your people uh, may have uh, cell phones, and uh, you can do a little bit of a, uh, a a tour around talking to people in your cab, or go get yourself a uh, a little digital camera and get them on eBay for about thirty bucks. Or if you want, uh, just contact one of our members. Uh, and give them your address, uh, we'll organise something, we'll send you a small camera, and uh, you can do a bit of a uh, upload and uh, personal experience. Uh, maybe you've even uh, been in contact with uh, some of these priests that we've mentioned. Uh, George, he, he leaves and goes out skiing, I think, now and then. Well, well according to Wiki, his, uh, what, 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 are he, what, what are George's um, skiing and flying and tennis? And so, all sorts of things. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so... Uh, so, uh, yeah, so if you uh, have an address that we can send something to, post office box number, one of your friends, uh, then they maybe uh, uh, send it right to the taxi dispatch or, or yeah, post place office, of work. Or place of work, anyone, any yeah. of your friends, um, and we'll send you something that you can do an upload yeah. of your experience of uh, ferrying people about and then what their opinion is, and your personal experience dealing with people, and you can upload that. And then... Uh, you don't have to upload it directly. You can put it onto uh, uh, YouTube, for example, or Twitter, or one of those. Is it Twitter? Facebook, and um, with a link, and or just contact us, and we'll tell you how to do it. Um, upload it to uh, one of our channels. Uh, what's that one we got? The last one, sort of truth, is it? Eight, eight, eight? Yes. Yeah. That sort of truth. You can upload the there, yeah. and um, we can show you how to do that, and uh, or even make your own YouTube. Upload it with a private message, and then we'll just go in there. We have the link. We'll go in and, and, and look at it, and then if we think it's uh, got merit, we'll uh, put it up on our, our site or and give it to our people all around the world. And there's hundreds of them that have YouTube sites. That's why this beast is Francis. If you get it's just stupid. He's unbelievably stupid. Um, he has his men that are as stupid as he is. And uh, I should say and just say once again. That these men burst into the office of uh, Pope 
Benedict. On and, April uh, the 3rd, the night of April the 3rd. There, we had um, a friend of ours in there as well who witnessed what happened. Um, and he was punched, an 85, 86-year-old man. His birthday is on the uh, 16th. 16th. He was punched, uh, fell to the floor, and uh, his ear was bleeding. He was hit so hard. Can you imagine some big thug going in there and hitting a man about five foot tall and uh, 120 pounds? Well, no wonder he's not feeling well. But uh, health-wise, we've cured him of himself because he asked me, he said, you do miracles. I said, yeah, what do you want? So basically, he wanted to be healed. I said, well, you're healed. That's it, we'll do it. And uh, we healed all the crew there. And um, they can't kill him because he is in the Vatican when it came to power, forming a city-state, the most powerful nation on earth, the cabinet. Um, it was on the uh, 11th of February, 1929. 84 years later, as I said, we got the uh, Pope Benedict is uh, slowly being poisoned. He wasn't aware of it. And um, he was feeling too ill to carry on. So that's why he retired. Right? Now, you can't retire. I told him, actually, you can't retire. You're still Pope. Just because you feel ill. Well, all the other Popes that come before you, they died on the job. It's not something you retire from, even if he was in hospital. He's still out of pain. And uh, it's all prophetic. Mm. So this fool coming along, Francis, uh, it's all to do with his uh, getting even with England and the warring against the land. They want to kill the king and all his people, and that's me. So all of Europe. And now that turns around to props. They're going to hate this war. Right? And, uh, it's, it's uh, very, very straightforward and simple. So the book of Revelation ends at 1 1 uh, 1 1. That is. Uh, 11 19. Yeah. Now we have a, a, uh, an eclipse occurring, which is an annual eclipse. It's a. Uh, the moon is a great distance from the Earth, about as far as away from the Earth it can get. Now the 25 degree latitude of Western Australia at 1 1 6.26 degrees. Uh, east, um, it lines up perfectly with the sun, and you get a, a golden ring if you're fortunate enough to be under it, maybe near Perth somewhere, and you see that, it'll be a golden ring in the sky. So it's signs and wonders that you'll be seeing. And this is the invitation to the wedding uh, of Cana, or Cana, and, uh, where Mary asked Jesus, myself, to create wine. And, uh, out of the water bottle, six water bottles, which I did. Not a problem for God, I can say. It's like a macular conception. It's not a problem for God. I mean, some, I, I was meeting at, went to a Noahide Laws meeting one time, which is a total abomination of Jews trying to bring in. And uh, I answered some questions in the room, and then when I walked out for the coffee break, all the Jew people that were there followed me out, and they wanted to ask when I was going to do seminars. And one guy said, I, I really have a problem with the Immaculate Conception. I said, listen, have you got your kids? He said, yeah. I said, you probably didn't even attempt to do it. It was just an accident. Right? So if I'm more unlike you, <laughs> you can have a child. And God who created everything, I think, can have a child too. And unfortunately, he did create you. <laughs> so that's about it. We can wrap it up there. So, uh, yeah, so, anything else on Yeah, we're looking forward to being in Europe, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, hasta la vista Bye. to uh, the uh, moron Pope. And uh, I did offer him, I said, look, if you just wake up this off, you can go back to Argentina. Just do as I told you. Actually, in this morning's tweets, you did. Uh, I did tell him on tweet. What, Even his detectives tell us not to tweet not him, to right? Tweet. He's getting annoyed with it because he's getting the message, right? Yeah. Like, he could become the hero. <laughs> Hello, make the announcement with Benedict of the Return of the Christ. Right? <laughs> but I doubt whether he's going to do that. Yeah. So yes. it's us to the Mr. Baby. You're out of here, son. Okay, now. Oh, can I read Luke 17? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. such a good one. <laughs> Luke chapter 17. Verses 20 onwards. All right, later, Gators. <clears throat> and I've 
Bye.